Yo, 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 YouTube, what's happening, man? You got Wayne in here. Been a minute since I did one of these tabletop videos. What I got out here is my Team Associated B44 uh, buggy. Uh, I acquired this car a couple months back. Just ain't been had all the time, you know. They do nothing but RCs. Uh, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I brought this buggy in roller form. Uh, I got plans on this being one of my speed cars. Of course, that's all I do is uh, with the RC. It's my main interest is speed running. Uh, so every vehicle I get, you know, the goal is speed. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah. Right now, I'm currently got it broken down, trying to figure out my drive line here. How I'm gonna um, get the gearing in here that I want. Um, yeah, so uh, you know, I don't have any special type of machinery or whatnot. Um, everything I do has to be modified. Either I take something from something else and make it work or whatever. But yeah, that's what I'm looking at right now. That's what I'm trying to design right now, and uh, I'm going to get it done. I'm going to make it happen, and uh, yeah, put this thing out here on the road pretty soon. But uh, yeah, most of the cars I get, man, I look for cars that, and a lot of people are running. Uh, there's no application out there on YouTube of how to get it up to speed, you know. Part of the hobby I find, you know, is the challenge of making the car go fast. And then once you get it to go fast, Especially when you ain't seen nobody else getting it to go fast. I mean, that's that's part of the excitement, man. That's part of the joy, man. You know what I mean, that I find a hobby that, you know what I mean, that really keeps it fun for me, keeps the ball rolling, and keeps things going. So, them the type of challenges I like to present to myself. You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah. So, um, you'll definitely be seeing this this season, most definitely. So uh, yeah, this is this, and um, another car I want to introduce uh, is a car that uh, you know, I've been looking at the 1.8s for a while, really, for a while, but I just didn't know what route I wanted to go. Um, I know I didn't want to slash, rally, nah, -uh. didn't want none of that. Um, I didn't want to go belt driven route the way I'm because uh, I like to... Um, crawl before I walk, you know what I mean, I don't want to just jump too far ahead of myself, you know what I mean, I use this as a learning process, I learn from one car, I apply it to the next, you know what I mean, um, I think that's the best approach for me to take, you know, I like to learn as I go, because before it's said and done, I will be one of the elite, and the only way to achieve that is to learn and be patient so uh, yeah that's what I'm gonna do okay but yeah I decided to go out and cop me a 1.8 I looked around and didn't see uh, well I decided I, I decided what I wanted I looked around on YouTube like I said not a whole lot of them out there running I think I seen like one doing 123 one like a 108 109 ish a couple of them in the 90s or so but not really a whole lot of them putting up huge numbers so I was like bingo Okay, so here it is. This is it right here, guys. This is here. It is my Kyosho Inferno GT2VE. Uh, I bought it in ready to run form. Um, I did too much to it yet. And I decided uh, before I do too much. The best time to show it would be now before I do too much to it. So um, we got it yanked out the um, the stock kit and uh, this is all I've done so far. Waiting on a boatload of parts to come forward. Uh, got a lot to do to it. Um, but yeah, this is my one eight. Um, First plan for this car is first 
first time on the road to be 100 mile per hour car, at least 90 and up, you know, on 4S, 4S, 4S. Uh, I haven't ran it at all. You see the chassis is clean, no scuff, no scars, no pricks. Never ran. Um, got a big cat pack if I need it, don't want to use it. Got a 2200 cal, so if I need it, don't want to use it. I really don't want to go beside neither. I want to. I like doing things differently, man. You know, like I said, I like doing things different. I like trying for myself, seeing for myself, and learning for myself. So, uh, big shout out to my guy Tony Smith, man. Threw me this fan here, man. I, uh, I like that a lot. And I see where it fit on this motor. It's a great piece, great additional piece. Uh, this gearing here is just what's in here for now. It's a stock center diff. All it'll be changed up. Try and keep the stock servo if I can. If not, I'll yank it out. Make no difference. Um, yeah, man. So, uh, waiting on a lot of stuff for this thing, man. So, before I get too far along in modification and progress, I said I'll go ahead and show it now because I'm not going to show under the hood any much more, you know, later on down the line. So, yeah, but I like this thing. Well built, man. Um, for what I've seen, you know, um, like I said, I hadn't driven it, but just the feel of it. Things well built, well put together. Um, the handle, plenty of power, you know. I don't want to just jump out the gate 8S on it, whatever. I mean, that's the easy road to speed. I like to be efficient. I like to run low voltage. Um, you know, just my preference. You know, I'm knocking nobody else, but. It's just my preference, man. But, um, yep. Yeah. This is it. Hope you guys like it. Uh, if not, I love it. And, uh, me makes it better for me. Alright, but, um, shout out to everybody on the hyperboard. Um, yeah, so, um, you know what I mean? This is this. That is that. I'm out.